Welcome back. This is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And my uh, science medicine is pretty well worn off, so I'm not as hyper, and so I hope I don't scream into the mic like I did in the last video. Sorry about that. And, of course, this time, I've already taken this particular show twice, taped it twice. Tape is, you know, tape is not the proper word anymore, because you're not really using tape, you're using digital recording. So, anyway, oh, I digress. So this time, I'm going to record it with the microphone turned on, so there is something recorded. Anyway, I'm into this project with the Raspberry Pi to monitor shortwave or scanner radios to re alert the listener when something comes on the air so he doesn't have to sit in front of the radio and listen to noise waiting and waiting for something to come through. And I'm at the beginning of this project in in the concept stage and I'm trying to decide what I need to get this project started. I already have the Raspberry Pi and some few components but I've been using my big screen monitor and a full-size keyboard and full-size mouse and it just takes up a lot of room. So I've been searching Amazon for components and I'm looking for your inputs of what I should get. And here's a couple of things that are just examples and I'm looking for inputs on each of these. Here's the first one which is a small, this is very small, um, keyboard and in this case a trackpad to be used for a mouse. And I've seen a couple of projects for the Raspberry Pi where they've used this keyboard and mouse. It's wireless of course and it's uh, this particular one don't know if this is the best one or the best manufacturer is fifteen dollars from Amazon pretty good price the next item is a small screen a small display screen I don't want to have once a project is the initial project is finished and working I want it to be as small as possible and then if things work out I'll evolve it to make it even smaller and more compact but initially, I want to get about a 4 or 5 inch screen uh, to interface with it. And the Raspberry Pi has a HDMI output and a composite output, which is what's shown right here. So that was what I wanted to go to initially. Uh, hopefully the resolution will be good enough for this project. So that's another thing I'm looking at. Again, this is just an example. This one's $21.00. Don't know if it's good or bad. Looking for inputs. Here's another one over here. Different format. Same input. This is... Um, now this does... I just thought of something. This doesn't have audio. Um, this particular one, I believe, has two... Uh, maybe not. I think it has two video inputs. The other one, I'm pretty sure, has two video inputs. So even though it looks like it's got um, stereo input, it doesn't have stereo input. It actually may have audio input. So again, I've got to look at it. If I can, if I can find one that has both video and, and audio input, then that will reduce having a separate little amplifier speaker situation. So that's, yeah, Kind of thinking this out in my head. And then another thing I need, I think, I may be wrong, is sensors. Of course, I would not buy this $80 sensor package. Except I might get something like that for other, pro that way I'll have sensors for other projects. But not specifically for this project. So I'm trying to determine what sensors do I need to interface to the radio and to the Raspberry Pi. And maybe I, I don't even need additional sensors. Maybe the sensors, there's some on the Raspberry Pi card already. Maybe they are sufficient. 
So that's another input I'm looking for. Let's see. Oh, the other thing that I didn't look through is, let me go back to the monitor. These monitors are made for using in your vehicle. So they are looking for a 12 volts DC input supply. So again, in order not to have two supplies, because the Raspberry Pi runs off 5 volts, you, I've seen where people are using these little circuit cards, which are up convert, power up converters. And they can take a 5 volt input and up, up convert it to 12 volts. So therefore, you only need one power supply, transformer, whatever, and just use this up converter and then you have your 5 volts plus your 12 volts for your monitor. So that's another thing I'm investigating again. I'm just getting into this, so I'm real newbie. And I appreciate any input. Just to remind you that you can uh, send me an email to trrs73 at gmail.com. And like I say, if you have any inputs or suggestions, please do that. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.